Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Next Dirty, and today's video tutorial, or maybe it's a proof of concept video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to play NES ROMs using an NES emulator using your PlayStation 2. It could be a FAT or it could be a Slim. Uh, it could be a hard modded or it could be a soft modded type PlayStation 2. For my purposes, I'm using Free McBoot, that's the FMCB. I do have PlayStation 2 videos that show you how to add programs to your Free McBoot and even how to install Free McBoot. So I'm not going to go over those processes today. Just go ahead and watch those other videos. So now, what you need to do is go to SKS Apps and download the emulator. So go to the more info section, I got a link, go to FCE Ultra 093, download that guy and extract it and put that ELF file on your USB thumb drive. And then from there, go ahead and go to your favorite ROM site for games that you own and get some NES ROMs and put it on your thumb drive. And then from there, you have two choices. Either you install or copy that ELF file to your Freemic Boot memory card, or you can use ULaunch ELF and boot directly off the USB thumb drive. I'll leave it up to you. So with that said, let's jump straight into the video tutorial. All right, so let's do this. So what I have here is my PlayStation 2. Here's the USB stick. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to boot a uh, NES ROM using an NES emulator. So let's go down to my NES emulator. Alright, so this is what the screen looks like. So let's press select and set up your settings here. So I'm NTSC, interlacing on, so press circle, uh, center the screen, press circle and center it however, and press start. And then save path, save it to wherever. I like to save it to MC0, and then I like to save it to this folder I created called FCE, UMM, but you can use whatever folder you want. Once you're at this screen, just press start. And then for configured ELF path, uh, what I did was I configured the ELF to go to my boot. So I go to MC0, then go to the boot folder, go to boot.elf, and press circle. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Um, if you save the FCE Ultra.cnf file, when you restart your PS2 and try to load the emulator, it might freeze on you. You might see a black screen. So this is the only quirk that I know of so far. So I'm not going to save it. And I'm going to go back to the options menu by pressing circle. So I have Mega Man 2. So let's go to Mass Drive. And here's my Mega Man 2 ROMs. Press circle. And look, it instantly loads the ROM. And it runs at full speed. So let me get past this main menu here. So if you press the triangle, you have uh, this new options menu. So you can set, you know, state number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or whatever. Save state, load state, turn on filtering, turn on low pass. You can configure your input. You can turn on rapid fire, or you can reset the game, or exit the game, or exit to the menu. So if I press R2 at the top here, it'll basically save the game. See? And then I'm going to die. But if I press L2 up here, I restart. See? See, look at this. And make sure that when you have the save directory, you save it to, um, let's see here. When you do the save directory, make sure you save it to your memory card. Do not set up the save directory on your flash stick because it's going to say save error and load error. So with that said, that pretty much is the tutorial. So let's go straight back to the desktop. So if you are a PlayStation 2 enthusiast, I think you will really like it when, once you have exploited your PS2 to play NES uh, ROMs here. And I don't know how to do it so that when you save that config file, that when you reboot and try to launch that emulator, that it does not stay at the black screen. I don't know how to do it, but uh, for now I advise do not save that config file and you should be okay. It is a pain to reconfigure the repositioning of your screen every single time, but that's a very small price to play to um, have thousands and thousands of countless hours to play your NES classics there. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.